All right, everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod pack tier list. It's about that time that we go over some more Minecraft mod packs. We have a couple of mod packs here that we have, you know, reviewed or mod packs that I've actually have an opinion on that I haven't reviewed yet, but I might review them just to show you what it's all about and all that stuff. And Oops, forgot to put this one up there. And I also kept the original stuff here um, just to show you the previous tier list. However, if you want my opinions on why I put these here, you're going to have to check out the other video because I'm not really explaining all that. It's a lot of stuff. Aside from that, guys, make sure to subscribe and let's get right into this tier list. So let's go on to the first one here, the Crazy Craft 4.0. It's a very, very good mod pack. The problem comes with how outdated it is. Uh... The ore spawn mod itself is a very good mod. The mod pack itself does need some updates. It's definitely a high beat tier because it's still quite kind of fun. But to get to that point where you can actually play it is really difficult because you have to go all the way back. Now, let me actually do this one next because it's basically the same thing. This right here, A, because this is a basically an updated version of the Crazy Craft mod packs. A modified Crazy Pack. That's why it's called Kinda Crazy Craft in general. The kind of crazy pack is basically just a successor of crazy craft uh poke cube um i'm gonna say hi a uh see i really like the concept of this mod pack i'm gonna put it in s tier the reason why this is a hot take because pigs mod reforged is right here so it's so enticing because it's like a um almost like just a regular uh Pixelmon experience, but you can actually interact with mobs. You can actually interact with different um, Pokemon. You can actually stab the Pokemon. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, well, that's the mod, not the mod pack. That's uh, I'll put it in in regular eights here behind Pixelmon Reforged. I like the mod. The mod has so much concept to it that I can actually use this mod with different things. The mod itself is an S, but the pack itself is just a regular A. So I, th I I have high hopes that this mod, since it's constantly updated and all that stuff, um, I, I have high hopes for that mod to really succeed. Project Ozone, S tier, because I've had a lot of experience with Project Ozone. I've actually played it that very thoroughly. It is amazing. The only issues that I've ever had with it was just mods that they use um, that are really hard to understand, but that's not on the mod packs fault That's just on the fact that the mod itself that like that that one occasional mod in order to progress Is just really difficult to understand. I think that's more on the mod fault than the actual packs fault in general The pack has a very good progression very nice and simple way of understanding how to start how to do some things and in general it's it's a very enticing mod pack but you do need to have an, some some sort of understanding of some of the mods but you'll learn what the mod does and how it do, it works and all that stuff throughout the mod pack although once again things like the embers rekindled i still don't understand how embers rekindled works but it's it's you know it's a learning process all right uh new beginnings c because it's outdated like, I went over the tutorial on how to update the New Beginnings mod pack, but even so, I still feel like it's not there. Like, Crucial 2 is basically just a better New Beginnings mod pack. Oh, well, actually, I shouldn't say a better, but Crucial 2 has more enticing stuff to um, basically complement the Minecraft experience in comparison to New Beginnings, which is outdated. Fantasy Realm. Hi, B. I can't really say if it's an A or not because the A mod packs are really, really nice. Like, they're really, really good mod packs. The problem with this one is just, I don't know. It, it just, it, it feels good. It feels very interesting. But I get the sense that it's just, it, it needs a little more to get it to the peak of, um, you know, what it is don't get me wrong like i said I, I i just really enjoy uh this mod pack it's just i don't know it, it, i have some some doubts that it's as good as medieval or better which i compare them to these two because this is actually like from the same creator as these two mod packs and with that said i actually want to move this mod pack this is the 1.16.5 mod pack of this i want to move this to s tier along with the better minecraft plus i i had changed my opinion on this because 
I, when I realized that, oh wait, there's more versions to this. Actually, let me put this down to A tier. Um, I think this is more of an A tier mod pack than an S tier. But anyways, Better Minecraft Plus, I decided to move it to S tier because I love the Better Minecraft Plus and what it has done. And the Better Minecraft for 1.16 is amazing. I love the 1.16 version of this. And with that said, the 1.19 version of this mod pack, it's a little confused there. I'm, I know, I'm very sorry for this, but the 1.19 version of the mod pack is very, I mean, it's it's good. It's really good, but it's not on the scale of 1.16.5, in my opinion. You might like this one more than this one, and I won't judge you, but I like this one more than this one. So that's my thing, all right? It, all the mod seven to the sky, it's, it's all right. I wouldn't say A tier at all. I'll put it at the high C tier. It's all right. I mean, it's not my style. I usually don't like uh, Skyblock mod packs, but then again, I kind of have two of them in the S tier. So actually three, three Skyblock mod packs in the S tier. So you can kind of understand why I put this one here. If you take a look at these three mod packs, because these three mod packs, they just have so much more to it. And the All the Mod 7, I may have missed a lot of stuff in All Mod 7. I may have not given All Mod 7 enough respect to actually put them up in a higher tier. However, at the same time, it just doesn't feel that enticing compare in comparison to these three mod packs. Okay, All the Mods 8, uh high B tier. All the mods 8, how would I put this? A very mid mod pack. Like very middle of the pack mod pack. Granted, it it has its success because it releases a lot of good mod packs throughout the years. And the older ones, like 1.12 and 1.16, they're really fun. I really like those ones. But I don't know. I I don't really appreciate um the newer ones because I it's just it's just not the all the mods eight fault. It's more like I don't really like the the modern mods more than the 1.16 or 1.12.2 mods as much. So I don't know. I, I, I just like the 1.16 and 1.12 versions of the all the mods, but with the 1.19.2 version, I don't really have a strong opinion of it. And that's probably why I don't like this one as much as like, let's say if there is um, all the mods seven, uh, six of the sky. I, yeah. Now this mod pack, I feel like it's unfair to rank this one because it's kind of like a yearly thing that they do. It's not even supposed to be good. It's just supposed to be there for fun. But if I were to rank it, I would just put it in D tier. But um, let me actually uh, do something real quick. I just renamed it to holiday mod packs because the holiday mod packs, they're not really like that. It's not fair to rank these mod packs. Like it's really not fair at all to rank these mod packs. So I'm just leaving it as it is. And decimation S tier, immediate S tier, because the server that this this mod pack is on is amazing. And yes, this is a server mod pack. You have to play on the server for this mod pack. Overall, it is an amazing experience to play. So yeah, in general, decimation is really really nice, and I should I should probably upload a video or two on it. I have actually played it, and I've died a few times because players shot me and all that stuff. So yeah either way very nice zombie apocalyptic um map and uh server so yeah go check out decimation yourself aside from that thank you guys so much for watching if you like this uh tier list thing uh make sure to like it and aside from that guys i'll see you guys in the next video take care and good bye